Both the director, Joe Talbot, and lead, Jimmy Thales, are making their film debut with The Last Black Man in San Francisco. They're telling a story of friendship while also putting some of the city's problems on the national stage. Tonight, Talbot and Thales spent the evening in their hometown hosting a workshop for aspiring filmmakers and talked to us about the movie. In the middle of a loud and crowded cafe, we sat down with two guys hoping to make more noise with their new film. That's a clip from The Last Black Man in San Francisco, directed by Joe Talbot, starring Jimmy Fails, natives of the city and best friends. And it just kind of started out as an idea. Yeah, an idea that's gotten pretty big, already racking up awards at the Sundance Film Festival. Fails' life inspired the story about a fictional Jimmy who's obsessed with reclaiming the Victorian home his grandfather built in San Francisco. His family lost it. That's not your old house and that's not your neighborhood. The people that are here make San Francisco great. And if you start to lose those people that are such an important you know, part of the fabric of the city, then what is the city? The film digs into what we see all over San Francisco, gentrification, an affordability crisis, and a shift in racial demographics. The title clearly doesn't shy away from the city's dwindling black population. I'm losing my community in my hometown. Which I definitely felt like that needed to be mentioned. Talbot calls the film unfortunately universal. We were getting letters from people in Atlanta, in in London and Paris and New York who are saying these same things are happening here. This is also a story of friendship, which is why these two are in this cafe. I have a lot of friends here who are aspiring filmmakers. Talbot and Fails are now mentoring the next wave of filmmakers to hopefully get their untold stories to the big screen too. The Last Black Man in San Francisco hits theaters next month.